Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 65 of my storyline playthrough. And <laughs> the Dodic is just roughly the same speed as the Stigmalok is. And it's trying to get me because they're they're territorial and they get cranky if you get too close. And apparently I did. But uh <laughs> it can't quite catch up to me though. I just thought it was kinda funny. All right, and pretty much into the line here, huh? Come on. Thank you. Wow, he turned all like shiny and stuff. So yeah, we're over here in the volcanic biome just gathering up some resources. Uh, one of the main things is, well, it's multi copper ore. And stone, really. Yeah, no. I can go that way, I think. So how are you sitting on stone anyway? Uh, 9,000. Here, you can have that too, I guess. So, I mean, we're making progress. I was down to like 5k stone. I was like, you know, I need metal anyway. Let's, uh, let's go to the place where I can easily get both. And right now, I'm also looking at glitches too. Oh, uh, yeah, sucks to be you guys down there, doesn't it? Oh, hello, Chug Bug. Alright, yeah, I don't think I can get out that way. Yeah, none of that is destructible. So, let's go ahead and get backed up here. Thank you. That was wonderful. And... Is there any chance I can get through over here? Ah, look at that. Uh, let's see, I see those glitches there, but it's on the other side of this lava channel, so... Okay, cool. I'm not not overloaded. Awesome. That's what I wanted to see because that means I can deploy these. Now the Dodic will automatically go after Obsidian, so I might as well just go ahead and well, if I'm not riding it, it will. You can just go ahead and do that. Bust it up and. I uh, had a pretty good run in the volcano so far, though. I uh, managed to kill a level 228 uh, Magmasaur, so... The only downside was I forgot to bring food for my Dodig, and... Dodigs, being as special as they are, cannot figure out how to collect their own food. Which makes me wonder how they survive in the wild, for like any length of time at all. All right, let's, uh, it's kind of broken up around here still, too, so I'm not going to bother popping the Dodic out for now. Hmm. Well, that didn't quite work out like I wanted it to. But there's a rock bridge right around this way, so, I mean, that works. Well, oh, okay, or we can just do that. All right, and uh, 
It's amazing how much <laughs> weight the uh, the wingsuits can handle. Or the glide suits, or you want to call them. All right, let's try that again. Hup. All right, so there's a glitch all the way over that way, which I don't really feel like going after. I think I kind of passed by the other one. Yeah, right here. The hell is that? Oh, it's a Rexy. Okay. Okay, well, I only did 600 damage to this thing. It does four to me. There you go. Get distracted. Did I miss that one? Give me this, Batman. Alright, um... Hey, I just got landed on by a T-Rex corpse. Yeah, I would have just been completely flattened by that. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's something different there, isn't it? Oh. Oh, well. Missed out on another spear bolt. Alright, so... Let's come up this way, I guess. Hey, Stegosaur. Oh, I am thirsty, huh? And... There we go. First time you drink one of those... If you load into a map, it, uh... It does that for whatever reason. Nice. Just enough forward momentum to send me into the lava pit. You got it. You can't tell with all the bloody violence around here, but some elements of the Genesis simulation were originally intended to be educational. Not that you'll find a classroom or a learning pod around here. But before everything collapsed, students would routinely learn geology, biology, and other sciences by wandering around environments like this. Hmm. Maybe I can pick up a computer science credit for fixing that glitch. You go, Helena. Yeah, that poor trike is dead. Now, this is just like a really not great place to be now, isn't it? Especially, you know, the fact that there's no flyers in Genesis. Or you, there are, but you can't, uh, can't ride on any of them. So how much copper did I end up bringing in? Uh, 320. Yeah, let's just go ahead and head back to base, I guess. I love how much quicker this teleporter is than Helena. All right, so you both are juvenile. You want basic kibble? I can do that for you. You want to go for a walk? Okay, well, come on. Hey, look, basic kibble. Oh, are you stuck in your, your sibling there? You are, aren't you? Still want to go for a walk with me? Yeah, that didn't work out quite so well last time. Alright, quit putting the dough dick in my hand. Thank you. You are insistent about this walk, aren't you? Cooked meat. I think I can do that for you. That's what I put in their inventory whenever they first hatched, so that way I could make sure that they were fed. 
And... Alright. Hey. There you go. I should have probably put them away before I, uh... Went out and about. Went on a walkabout, pretty much. Just so I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, coming back and finding out, oh, well, you screwed up the imprinting. Alright, well... Got a little bit of sulfur, which is kind of nice, and I guess we can put the spear away. You still cooking? You are. Um, but actually, we're going to put the metal in here and let this thing do it. It'll cook 56 ingots at a time, so I mean, it's kind of nice, it's kind of worth it. Tell you what, you go ahead and do that as well. And do all that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I got through it the first time, so I mean, I guess we can do it again. I probably should have you. Yeah. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. There's a turret mode for you? Okay. Alright, uh, we're up to 14,000. Uh, yeah, not particularly, no. Um, I wish I could sell you stuff. But, uh... I mean, all I can buy is a tier one loot crate, which I'm really not in the mood just for. Just browsing, so. eh? Yeah, just browsing. Uh, what is your cooldown? 19 and a half minutes? Okay. Oh, wow, you did another one, huh? I was in the volcano a little longer than I thought it was then. Whoops. All right, what do we got? A couple females, level 500, level 528, okay. What's the difference? Oh, like almost 40 points of health, wow. That is a huge difference. Actually, I probably shouldn't have imprinted those at all, oh well. Here. Uh, you're the female. I want you into my breeding population. Don't be pulling that crap. Load it. Oh, come on. You know, I've got a lot of regular raw meat. You can have that. How is your food doing? Oh, you've got plenty. Okay. Alright, well... See how many copper plates do we have? Do we have enough for the industrial grinder? Probably not, but let's look and see what we need. We need 200 copper plates, 800 cementing paste, 3200 metal, 600 oil, and 600 polymer. Ah, uh, polymer. Yeah, that's gonna be a fun one, isn't it? We should probably head over to probably the bog. Actually, uh, let's see, I got 15 of those left. I could really use something like an Australovenator, actually. Uh, 15 mutton might not be enough, though. Okay, I can't talk to you because you're between me and the mount right now. Alright, so let's get some baits made up and. Probably wait for morning. I'm gonna go try to get my hands on an Australovenator. They they have a bonus to harvesting uh, harvesting uh, organic polymer. That's the word, which I think would be pretty handy. There we go. That's uh yeah 96. That'll work for now. Do I have any other like bait? I have 11 more bait in here. Okay, cool. I should probably make some prime fish bait too. Really. Oh, that's where all my 
how blubber bait is. Actually, let's make 10 of these. Just for aquatic tames, pretty much. Oh, wow, I get five per piece of blubber. That's even better than I thought it was. Of course, this area is just crawling with the uh, Zillasaur, so I mean. What are we doing here? Got a ton of jerky. Cool. Uh, we're going to have to go ahead and put this in here, though, for now. I don't need to be packing it around, so. All right, where is, oh yeah, Ark is over where I left her. All right, Helena. Helena, would you like to uh, quit ignoring me for a second here? Hey, no. I. Thank you. Was that too close to my dinosaur? I might have been. Uh, we are going to go to Arctic. Uh, Southwest, I think. And I extended the platform out so I'd have a safe place to teleport from without having to worry about taking half my base with me again. Just, you know, just be safe. And... Man, this almost takes as long as actually, like, Here we go. doing boss arenas, doesn't it? Alright, gigantic lag spike. Teleporting always makes me a bit dizzy. Alright, well. Yeah, looks like it's close enough to morning. We're good. Oh. Okay, I hear an avalanche, but I don't see one. So, I'm fairly certain there are also venators on this map. If not, what are other things that have a bonus to collecting organic polymer? Vanilla, it's the, uh, the Pelagornis is pretty much it. So, what is that? I mean, it's no storm. Okay. Go figure, right? Hey, there we go. Yeah, it sounds like it's getting kind of close. I'm going to start pelting the box here in a second. This should do me for now. Uh, crystal is going to be actually my big issue uh, coming up here. There go. That's roughly another 200 uh, plates worth of copper, so. Should be doing okay on that front. Uh, crystal, though, would be a, a big favor. Hello, monkey. Oh, well, there's a fairy. Ah, morning song. I do love the in-game music for this map. Hey, oh, go away. Border. Yep, yeah, okay. All right. Well, oh. whatever.
Yep, definitely in the southwest corner of the uh, the area here. So. Another horse. Good. All right. Do you not run into the walls and stuff, please? Thank you. I saw you. Freaking my crafters. <laughs> Faster than you are. Oh, it's just a patch of sunlight. Okay. Like, oh, crystal. Nope. Alright, so. Ah, uh, yep, here's the avalanche. Okay. I can just head this way, wait for it to pass. So I get past. Head on up. Eat a dire wolf. Because, well, why not, right? Hi, guys. Well, the wolf pack is taken care of. Oh, hey, we're here. Okay. I know this place roughly. Been here a few times anyway. All right, so let's do a scan. What is around here? Um, I got Ovis, which is okay, I guess, right? Got a couple XUTs, well, three of them. Yeah, but no. Oh, bump my mouse. Uh, but no, like, Ostrobinators, no Kairuku, none of that. Yeah, I guess I could just do a ton of missions and find glitches and, and buy polymer, but. Eh, uh, don't want to do that. Could get set up with a fabricator and make it, though, too. I bet there's no extinction creatures on this map because the snow all will fit in perfectly around here. Alright, well. Are you a regular or just. Are you an X? You are an ex Edmontosaurus, okay. Wasn't sure if that was just a, uh, a map variation to the color scheme or if that was actually it. Yeah. Okay, cool. No. Bad dogs. Oh yeah, definitely in a snowstorm now. Oh yeah, this brings back memories of hunting down your terrain in the snow, doesn't it? Ooh, what the hell? Oh hey! You yeah. are going to be very useful for me here in a second. Now well, it's going to be more in a second until I can knock it down, but... Oh, this is going to take a while though, isn't it? Well, oop, like so. There we go. You say that kangaroo never saw what was coming. Yeah, it took a little bit of time. No, no, you stop. You can't eat it for one. You did. Ha. Ah. Stupid. All right, so yeah, we're getting stone, crystal, obsidian, metal, oil, and sulfur. Which is why I don't particularly mind going after these. And if you use the drill on it, you get so much more out of it than you would with a pick, so.
There's the headshot. Like right under the chin for a headshot on these stupid things. All right. Yeah, it still takes a while to take down the corpse though with the drill, but getting lots of pretty useful resources out of it though. take this long, I would just come back after I broke it up with the drill, man. This thing is still not done yet. Ah, oh, finally. Alright, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, we need to get rid of some of this stuff. Just, if nothing else, that way I can see what all we have. And we ended up with almost 500 oil, 30 sulfur, 400 crystal, a lot of some other stuff too. 550 obsidian. Not bad. Alright, so... Level 336. All right. Oh wow, big pack of wolves. Wolves go squish. Oh, hello, Glitch. I didn't even see you there. Geroid. I was curious how the simulation was doing overall, so I took a peek as I was fixing that glitch. For starters, you're doing fine. We make a ripping team. But the overall numbers. Survivors are dying in droves. Starvation, violence, accidents, a bit of everything. This is supposed to be a survival test, but the death rate is off the charts. We best be careful, eh? Good to know. Good to know. Simulation has gotten even more hazardous than it used to be, apparently. What the there. Oh, yeah, perhaps you don't forgot about me. No worries, I wasn't in the mood to tame a... Uh, to tame an herbivore with no baits. That's... Not my idea of fun, really. Why is it always a snowstorm when I come over here, though? Yeah, 348 for Coptodon. There's no way in hell that I'm taming that without a bait. Oh, hey. Mission point. What do we got over here? Hide and seek and dearly departed. Do I want to do either of those while, the f while it's storming, though? Probably not. And I doubt the storm would manage to clear up just because it started the mission. No. Bad dogs. Oh, you're running away, feared. Okay. Come on. There you go. There we go. I am getting the rhino horns, right? Yeah, okay. Use mobility to your advantage if you can. Get behind you, Tyrannus, when you start seeing us doing this in the squat thing. And then you won't get feared. 
Simple as that. Alright then. Hello, Mammoth. Oh yeah, this storm's definitely getting worse, isn't it? Alright. So, um, I'm doing the Dearly Departed quest on Gamma right now. And, uh, if you want an exercise in frustration, try and find the, uh, the white footprints on white snow. Hunter one, prey zero. They hit Good on four, four. What the heck? Alright, what'd I get? Um, whole bunch of saddles. I'm not even gonna bother taking that home or that. Gotcha saddle? Really? A 107 sword? Eh. Oh, I got some other good stuff, including focal chili. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Shadow State. Steak saute. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of that as well. Yeah, I'm over halfway, so, or uh, halfway burdened here on my dino. So I don't automatically pick up rhino horns anymore, which is a shame. Oh well. But the snowstorm is still going on. I think I spent 15 minutes on that quest or whatever. I did look up the Additional Creatures 2 wiki, and Australobinators do not spawn in Genesis. So, that's a shame. And now I have no idea where I'm at. I found a trick with footprints is just to look straight down. And it'll give you a little indicator of the side of the screen towards the prints, which is handy. You line that up exactly at the top of your screen, right top dead center, and then move that direction and you'll find the prints. But, uh, yeah, no. Still snowstorm. You, I need to... Is that it there? Oh, that's right, you can't shoot from the back of this guy. No, that's not it. Oh, hi. I want that. Thank you. Right. Um, oh, that's yeah, a border. Yeah, I can't go any further that direction. All right. Down you go. Is this, is this starting to clear up a little bit? Or am I just in like a more particular area? Thank you. Did you have anything good? Not really. All right, and let's go see what we can dig up. But I need a lot of polymer. It's a problem. So in that case, the bog is probably my best friend, honestly, because the. Uh, there's Giga Titans that spawn there, and they actually drop a healthy amount of organic polymer. Oh, yeah, no, this, this storm is not letting up at all, so. I'm thinking we're going to head back to base now and try our luck in the bog, where at least I can somewhat see. And there we go. All right, let's get some of these put away. We got what? Capro, eh, galley. Another Capro, Pachyrhinosaurus, gotcha. Pizzi platform. I'm not even gonna 
bother going through the rest of those. Alright, and... Meat. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's nice, I can see the flipping sky again. And we can drop this stuff into here. Same with that. Crystal's actually the main thing I'm low on right now. Bit of a shame there. Not much I can do about it. But hey, more sulfur. That is always welcome. And spoiled meat bait. Can I get like 10 more of those, please? Uh, this... 10, perfect. Alright, yeah, let's do that. And now, botany bales. Can I make that? Sap and stimulant, probably. Actually, I don't even know if I've found honey yet in this map. Hmm. That's kind of sort of something to think about now, isn't it? How am I going to get honey? Thank you, game. That was wonderful. Can I hop on you from here? Nope. Right off the edge. <laughs> All right, Helena. Where you at? Say hello. Thank you. Uh, we're up to 17,000 hexagons now, though. Uh, Bog, let's go to northeast. Time to teleport. Might get there eventually. You really take your sweet time, don't you, Helena? Teleport now. All right, cool. Right on target. Perfect. So now I just have to find Giga Titans. And Dung Beetles, I think, would be pretty decent to find right about now. Alright, um... Yeah, Dung Beetles are going to be fun to spot anyway. I didn't empty you out, did I? Dang it. Oh well. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of some of this superfluous stuff here. Hey, it brings your weight down a good amount. Alright, well. Yeah, there's Scorpio Venators everywhere around here. All over the flipping place. Man. Which is actually kind of terrifying because of how many bugs are in this biome, too. Because they go full out berserk whenever they kill a bug. Hey, Raptor. It's kind of funny seeing a fish that big and water that shallow, really. Hey, I heard you. There you are. Oh, I got caught for spores. Hundred and 
181 organic polymer off that guy. Ah, I would love an auto trash function. I think I remember seeing a mod for that at one point in time. Hello. Hmm. Any more you guys hiding in the wall? Didn't think so. Is that a... Oh, yeah. Just a regular, you know, aberration mushroom thing. Uh, I need that, please. Thank you. There we go. the Sarko. Can't see the Sarko. Make sure that Arca Prime there is on neutral. Apparently I'm getting a housing buff in here too. Cool. Alright. So, another 200 crystal. Uh, 160. There we go. Yeah, I'll, I'd run 200-ish, I think. That is a help. Huge help. Oh, hey, there's another one over here. Make sure it was broke. Seeker capper on the wall there. Well, kind of. It was stuck behind some rocks, but... Oh, there's a lot of crystal down here. Ah, oh, salvation. Fancy a scavenger hunt? Oh, yeah, scavenger hunt, huh? Okay. Well, let's see. Shouldn't be that hard. I did mine up almost all the, uh, the crystal in here. So, um, all right, well, it shouldn't be that hard to find. But then I saw there's a mission terminal right at the exit. I was like, okay, we gotta. That's the stuff, but we need heaps more. So I figured I'd try it on Gamma and. That's weird. Maybe get to know the swamp a little bit better as well. There. It's not up high, is it? There it is. Okay. Whoa. Let's get some more of those. Right. So. Okay. I need to go to that area next. Okay. There it goes. Oh, man. He does not like to turn while running, that's for certain. She. Arca Prime is a female, so. Also, the only Arca monster on the, uh, in the Genesis simulation. Because I only brought one. Alright. No. Didn't want to take a chance in that thing, you know, aggroing on me right after I am passed and then having it chase me for a while. All right, cool. That's the stuff, but we need heaps more. And what are we looking for here? Oop. There it is. The problem is they don't render in from a good distance away. What happens if I break this here? Mangrove tree wood. Okay. Ah, 
I saw that happening. There we go. And... Stupid mate boosted Sarkos. Wow. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Now, there's our Arca Prime being spun around by a. Uh, I'll take that, thank you. By Capro. You are on neutral. Freaking act like it. Thank you. Ah. Oh. I think she was dizzy from being spun around for so long. There it is. Okay. Exactly what we're looking for. Oh, yep, we're done over here. Cool. Gotta go over to Willow Way now, huh? Oop. I love it whenever you just hit him and they just vanish. Mm. Okay, get out of here. Nobody likes you, Stego. You smell funny. Well, that's a good little distance away, too, isn't it? There it is. Great, now can you not jump in front of me when I'm trying to yeah, grab stuff. the thing? Thank you. There it is. The whole red light, green light thing is not horrible. Off the Pladius for okay. And no, it wasn't hiding inside the Parasaur. Okay. okay. Get off the rock. Thank you. Which one? I bet it's up there a bit. Nope. There it is. Tricksy little bugger, isn't it? That's the stuff, but we need heaps more. No, you're getting four more. That's it. You're gonna be happy with that. Northwest side. Get out of here. Everything's in the way. The terrain. Nasty things, herbivores. 
Herbivores are probably the worst. Alright, I heard you, Trick. Alright. And this is not actually helping me get to know this area at all, so... I think it's gonna take all damage there, but. Good on ya! Let's yeah. find more. How did I get stuck on you? Also, there we go. Oh, look, there's a glitch there. Okay. Let's go take care of this glitch, I guess. Yes. The master AI for this biome is gone. Gone for good, far as I can tell. And it's supposed to be a final exam for survivors in this biome, so it shouldn't just disappear. If someone turned the master for the biome off, why would they do that? The whole point of all this is to observe and test the survivors. You've been doing well, and I want you to get credit for it. Well, thank you, Elena. That's what I call right from the gathering. Hey, we're overloaded now. Uh, primitive titanosaur platform saddle. Oh yeah, that'll come in handy. <laughs> Princess Tranodon saddle. Primitive quets. Where do you get an Apprentice Rex saddle? That's not bad. Got ourselves a mining drill, too. Uh, ammo type gasoline. Okay, that I will use. I just need gasoline, which is back at home. So, I'm just going to hop out of here, I think. We're going to head home. And drop some stuff off. Because, I mean, I could wander around some more, but I am so flipping overloaded now on my, my poor Arca monster that... Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to really bother imprinting you guys anymore because you're just going to be... Why are you level 647 now? How did that happen? Also, with Desplodosaurus, I really don't think base stats matter a whole lot because they start off just so low on stats that... uh. I don't think it does a whole lot of good anyway. Alright, let's get some of these saddles put away now because they they weigh a lot. That mining drill weighs 20 pounds by itself. Okay, what did I just put away? Uh, hopefully there's something that goes in here. Eh, probably. Alright, so 2400 crystal, not bad. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull half that. And then get it to a number divisible by 5, and uh, that should help a bit. Alright, well, that can go in there for now. Uh, I don't need that or that. And then we'll just put all these away that away. There we go. I didn't find a dung beetle while I was in there either, but decided to do the mission and uh, no, not in here. You get that. Kind of overloaded me to where at the point I couldn't do anything, so I mean, I technically could, but there's no point in being on a raptor type creature if you can't move. Alright, so that should be enough of that anyway. Now, hmm. I'm trying to remember if Spinoraptors get a, uh, a boost to harvesting polymer or not. I don't think so. Alright, and we are up to 356. Not, not too shabby. Not great, not horrible. 
kind of meh when you get down to it, really. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to uh, pollute the water a little bit. It's all plant fiber and, and a little bit of stone, so not going to hurt things in the long run. In the short run, we might have an octopus to figure out how to use hand tools, in which case that's kind of sort of terrifying when you get down to it. Alright, now you're cooking up a great amount of metal. So, grinder, right? What are we missing for the grinder? Cementing paste, okay. Copper plates, metal ingots, and polymer. Alright, well. Metal ingots is being worked on. Cementing paste is being worked on as well. Between the two of them, they should be okay, but let's go ahead and give them some more keratin. Yeah, we'll just take all of this. There we go. You can have that, and uh, you can have this one. Right? Awesome. Now... Metal ingots, copper plates was the other thing, right? So. I mean, we've got another basically 140 ish here, so not terrible. Uh, gasoline, though, in here. times. The mining drills are pretty fun to play with, actually, so. Alright, but now we're just waiting on this little thing here to, to get done. Hmm. So these things work at more than three times the speed of these. Uh, it works pretty good. Means this number here actually grows even if you're producing five copper plates at once. Not bad. All right, so a bit of time time has passed, and uh, let's go ahead and get your inventory out. I made a couple trips over to the bog biome. And almost 500 more organic polymers, so I think we're we're doing okay on that front now. There we go. A lot more prime meat as well, because why not? And nine more sarco skin. Yeah, I've been collecting those, I think. And then that can just go away. Mining drill works wonderfully, and uh, sometimes. Depends what you're mining, really. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this grinder up and going. All right, I should have enough of everything to get this, and I do. Alright. Alright, we're going to set you down about there. -ish. Yeah, that'll work. Should be enough room there. Alright, bring in the leather, which is awesome. And... Make sure everybody's getting leveled up. And now I need the recycler. The power recycler, right? Yep. What am I missing? 392 metal ingots. That is it. That is great, because I... I got 3500 metal ore in here that needs to be processed up, so... It shouldn't take much more than like a minute or so to uh, to get that. All right, so let's uh let's look at levels here a bit. Like, how many levels do you have here, Lobster? Eighteen more, huh? Fourteen thousand health to Lobster. That is uh, just a, a little bit overkill, I think. But I mean. Not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, wow. 
44 levels on the dodo. There we go. 2600 health for a dodo, that's uh, pretty extreme, right? Yeah, my low level Dilo now has 5700 health. So, not doing terrible there. Is that how we look in here now? 920 metal ingots. How many did I need for the recycler? 1200. Okay. So, yeah, we got well, under 300 to go now. Um, let's see. I never did re put mating back on my, uh, yeah, no, I didn't. Enable mating. I was wondering why I didn't have any more Displodosaur eggs, and well, that would be a reason why right there. Okay. Oh, you guys are fully grown? Yes, you are. Now, wild and tamed Displodosaurs cannot mate with each other, by the way. A bit of a shame there, but it's, they're actually two different types of dinos. And for things like the, uh, the feeding trough, where if you go through and go to options, you can turn it on or off certain dinosaurs. If we go down to that Splutasaur, there's actually two of them. And how are we doing? Oh, you burned out. Hmm. Another 847 there. Pet food kibble is in there just to make sure everybody stays alive, but everybody prefers cooked meat, so. Might as well keep it in there for them then. And tell you what, let's just go ahead get that going. I'm just drop this all into here. Oh uh, well, I felt it up. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. And actually I can't do that quite yet. I should probably get this stuff out of there. So that means I can put another stack of this in there. Pull that out, I can put that one in. Alright, cool. And now we have room for the wood. So, say 686, why not, right? Done. You are currently out of fuel as well, but don't really need anything out of you right now, so get this thing lit, and it can start doing all that wonderfulness there. So, here, have some more of that. And we can put put that away, I guess. All right, and hey, look, gunpowder finally. Well, had some already, but is this thing what's making the the fly buzzy noise? So I keep hearing. This noise, you know, the composting bin, aka the decrapifier. Uh, I keep hearing that noise over here as well. I'm thinking it might be this. Alright, and a little bit of fungal wood can go into there. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I'm doing a lot better on thatch than I was. So, there you go. We up to 1,200 yet? 1,300. All right, cool. Because this is where the fun is really going to begin. Get ourselves a recycler made up. Bolt that onto the end of our industrial grinder. It's close, but it works, right? And now... Come here, be like, okay, is there anything in here I want to keep? Uh, probably the fishing rod for now, I think. And probably the tech helmet, honestly. Just just because, right? Alright, let's go ahead. I oh, know that's that's not that's a GPS. I need this. You 
go there. <laughs> 55 items over. Now, over here, same thing. Is there anything I want to keep? Um, not off the top of my head so far. I mean, we've got Harpoon Launcher. Something I've never really played around with, but... Might be okay. I'm not sure. Now, I did not bring my shotgun over, though. So I'm going to have to make a new one of those. But, yeah. Uh, all that stuff. I'm not seeing anything in here I want to keep. Well, there's an apprentice electric prod. Dude, that still only has one durability, but I mean, do what you can with what you got, right? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using any use out of the basilisk saddle. So, set as source, destination, 153 inventory slots, recycle items. Yes, <laughs> and. We have resources, ladies and gentlemen. Like a thousand electronics. I mean, that's pretty nice, actually. Oh, we got some organic polymer. We got some regular polymer, too. Uh, is there anything else in here that'll spoil? Doesn't look to be the case. Okay. So let's go put our organic polymer away. Like, say, there. And then get this thing back out. Source. Destination and hmm. tech helmets are not grindable. Okay, no worries. I was kind of hoping they were, but at the same time, I'm not surprised that they're not. So uh, we'll just leave that in there. I might need to actually craft something with metal. But 5,400 silica pearls, that's awesome. Another 120 angler gel, you know, all this wonderful stuff. And then there's all the resources we have over here as well. So, I mean, we're, we're getting places. Oh, I wanted to go ahead and grind up some of this as well. Uh, like metal spike walls, I don't need. Uh, probably not the bear trap either. I'll keep the taxidermy base. Uh, crowd bridge. Thank you, but no. Uh, let's see. Yeah, send it Sarko. Now nah, pass, thank you. Spears, we're going to... That's a regular standing torch. That can just go away. I'm going to recycle all of the, uh, the arrows as well. Alright, uh, air conditioner. I've got a Dimetrodon. I don't need that thing now. Alright, cool. Should be good. And I should actually get quite a bit of stuff out of the motorboat. Uh, let's just transfer it over. 1200 metal ingots, 60 black pearls, polymer, obsidian, fiber, all that fun stuff, right? So let's go ahead and drop all this stuff on over and recycle that as well. Yes, there we go. And I got a bunch of narcotic out of it too, which is kind of nice. And let's just go ahead and recycle those. It's not a 100% return, but uh, well, it's nothing major. So, All right, let's get all this stuff put away into here as well now. I think I just recycled... Mm, no, I guess not. I saw the sand and I thought I recycled some clay, but there's no cactus sap in here, so I couldn't have. No worries. I just realized he's got twitchy toes. Weirdo. Alright, and... So, how is the situation in here looking? Pretty good. We've got... Two fertilized Ostraptor eggs. We've got a couple of Desplodosaur eggs. You're not on mating either, are you? No. Nope. So I, I had turned the mating off here, so. Just go ahead and disable mating. Across the board. Yes, I know. You're noisy. Also, we have a dung beetle over here now. Oh, hey, thank you. I don't know if the, the dung beetle can handle it all, but we'll try. Hey, it did. And we have 23 more levels pump in here. Alright, awesome. So, and it is on wandering, but I have got it hitched up so it can't move. Alright, so... Yeah, this is the one from my, my captive ones, so... Captive bread. 
There we go. A couple more Osteoraptors. We've got five of them in here now. So apparently there's some twins in there. Uh, any luck with mutations? We have one. All right. So... The Orf 047 region became 0215, color-wise. Feathers turned from light gray to blue. There we go. And awesome, you'll stay in there for now. And then we've got a couple of Desplodosaur babies in here that I'm probably just going to recycle, honestly. All right. So we're doing great. Got rid of all that mission loot that I'm never going to use anyway. Got plenty of resources, so now I can actually build things. Like we can come over here and be like, hey, uh, you know, there's this wonderful thing called a generator I would like to get. And this generator is wonderful because it's wireless. Just needs hmm, element, element shards, oil, or gasoline to be activated. Well, look at that. And now we have power. Now, can I get my hands on the HG replicator? I am missing 48 black pearls. Ah, dang, really? 27 there, and I guess we don't have any in here, do we? No. Well, it took black pearls to make the generator, generator, so yeah, that would do it. All right, well, on that case then, can I have a nanny, please? And we're just gonna place her over here, I think, All right? And now we're just gonna take these, yeah, you know, five wonderful young ladies here. Say cooked meat. That'll work for now. I'm not raising herbivores, so I don't need to worry about that right this second. Now, how are we sitting over here on comp plates? Quite a bit. Can I have one of the the hydro the hydro crop plot? Thank you. Aha! Wonderful. And, you know, actually, that's as good a place as any for right now. All right, so water is not irrigated. We can take care of that relatively quickly here. I need to my N plus bench here. Uh, can I get an intake, please? Ah, uh, sure, we'll go metal. And then an inclined pipe. We go. Why are you doing that? Could be any silly bugger there. I have no idea where that placed actually. I just know it's not up, so. What the hell is that pipe? Am 
have no idea where that incline pipe went to. It snapped somewhere on the crop plot, but I can't tell where. Hey, irrigated. Okay, got it. Hey, sweet. Ah, there it is. So, yeah. Came down this angle, and then there's our intake pipe right there. So, perfect. Uh, yeah. Yes, you're loud, I know. All right. So, next step. I have a ton of fiber. I've got a lot of it. I'm not too worried about it right now. You guys are growing up nicely. You should not be unpowered. What in the world's going on? Because this thing... Pulse generator range. Oh, I have to turn the range up manually. That's right. Uh, show range, rename, do 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 do. Radius options. Uh, yeah. There you go. Now you're powered, you're activated. Because I remember, <laughs> God, I didn't activate it, so. We should see you doling out food here shortly. Food is draining, but they have enough to make it to, to juvenile if need be. Have you started? No, you haven't. You literally have babies in front of you staring at you, lady. Do your job. <sighs> I'm figure it out eventually. Oh, hey, okay. I just heard somebody eat. Okay. a feces, just what I need, because this is missing one to use up what it's got stored inside. So I figured might as well. Alright, so we'll come on down here, we'll uh, chuck in all this wonderful fertilizer, and fiber. There we go. Now it's going to start making rich soil. Now, I'm thinking, which is dangerous, I really shouldn't do it very often, but I do. In the meantime, since I still need black pearls to make the, the high-tech replicator, uh, let's get ourselves a cooker and the cooking pot for now at least. I need just need to sit down and make a... Uh, you know what, you can just go right here, too. Uh, make an actual base or something. So just a wooden platform out here. Alright, what all do you need for... Exceptional Kibble, right? This one. Or actually, I want Extraordinary, not Exceptional. I need Honey, Lazarus Chowder, Mejo Berries. Okay, Lazarus Chowder needs what? Mejo, which I've already got. Long Grass and Saber Root, okay. I think I can work with that. Uh, let's see, saver root, and then long grass. Okay, I can just drop these seeds into this wonderful hydro plot over here, hydro planter, and it's going to start growing those two. That one and that one there. I could also grow the major berries in here if need be, but mm, I, it's not hard for me to get a stupid amount of berries, so. Uh, yeah, we're sitting on just shy of 20,000 majos right now, so I think we're okay for a bit. And let's see. And then narcotic. Okay. 
So I should probably focus on trying to tame up a Plagiosaur then. Ready to mate in eight and a half minutes. You are ready to hatch, and this is the, the tame ones. Or the, the bred ones, I should say. Captain Fred, maybe? There we go. And we got a little male. Level 648. Not bad. Not bad at all. 100 levels in melee damage. Which is pretty bad, actually. Well, I mean, 100 levels is great. The amount he got for from that, though, is pretty, pretty horrible. Eh, decent stamina, 111 points on it. I got shafted on health, though, but... Oh, yeah. Still put more points into health than movement speed, so that's... That's a win. Alright. Did you ever get fed, guys? You didn't. Where the hell did your food go? Were they, like, sucking down the meat that quick? Because, yeah, they probably were. Of how hungry they were. Alright, and something else I can do is we're just gonna scavenge all this stuff out of here because I don't need to. You know, I mean, look at that. It's already. Uh, nine pieces of meat have already spoiled here, so. Yeah, no. Okay, we're just gonna take, like, that much wood. We're gonna drop it all in there over here in this cooker. There we go. Yeah, spoil time, four and a half hours on raw meat in here. So that'll be cooked up before before that's an issue. Alright, awesome. We're uh, doing pretty good. I miss their old level up animation where they basically like, just roll over and whatnot. Instead of the little dance. But they like roll over on their back and just like make little, you know, happy noises. Alright, so I've got my army started. We're going to go with Displodosaurus because, well, at high levels, well, a leveled up Displodosaur is a very terrifying thing. And, uh, you know what? Let's grab that, uh, We'll grab these guys. We'll actually have them get raised up and imprinted, I think. Yeah, level 657 male. Not bad. And the cool thing is, is, well, mate boosted. So. Mate boosted and imprint. Can't beat that. So how are you working on your gas now? Uh, you've still only used the one. Tell you what, we're gonna take half of that and drop in here, so I don't have to worry about you for a while. And let's see, pulse generator range. Yeah, definitely covers everything. Oh yeah, no, no, we're good. Uh, wireless power, right? You can't beat that. So black pearls are needed. Um, gonna have to go to some hunting, which is actually one of the reasons why I'm raising these little guys up. Because I want, I want to take these five along with. What? The? No, they starved to death that flipping quick. Wow. Uh, can I? I don't even think I can harvest the body since, you know, it's technically mine. There you go. Ah, forgot to put cooked food in the, uh, in the nanny. Let's try it again. There's our boy. 
There's his uh, aunt, I guess it would be, actually. Since she came from the first generation, he came from this one's siblings. Now, are you getting food yet? Uh, you might have. I mean, look how much food this thing's got, though. Are you doing your job? No, you're not. Why are you... It's on 10. I just transfer 5 every time I die needs food, I guess. Right? There you go. What the hell was she stuck for? And I have no idea. Alright, well, tell you what. We're just going to uh, manually feed these two little, these tykes. My god, you don't have to be so loud when you poo, okay? Oh. It was loud as hell whenever I had these three uh, going through their starvation phase. Great, and then we can put more fertilizer in over here. Make more rich soil. We're already up to 210 each of long grass and saber root. So not bad. Uh, we get 15 of each crop per uh, rich soil it uses. So yeah, it works out pretty decently. This is a very beautiful map, though, honestly. Alright, well, nothing about that. So what can I make over here? Uh, pretty much anything made in a mortar and pestle. Plus, I can make thatch from wood if need be. I can make flint from stone if I need to as well. It's kind of handy, really. Alright. Everything's working great. Uh, fiber's doing pretty good, so. Yeah, should be okay for a while over there. Yeah, you're noisy, all right. All right, and... Yeah, you're, you're doing okay. All right, sweet. Now let's make sure. Are you being imprinted? You are. Awesome. And so are you? Yep. Of course, you're going to take a long time to grow up, but... Oh, well. So I could make other kibbles, but there's just really not much point to it whenever... If it can be kibble tamed, uh, exceptional or the top tier kibble will work, so... There's a few things, though, that I don't know if they... I don't think they can be kibble-tamed. Take a second here while it, uh, it loads everything in. The Bloodstalker. Food bait only. Interesting. No kibble baits. Mm, bit of a given there, right? Uh, what was the... Uh... Oh, what is the name of that new beetle thing from Additional Creatures 2? All I can remember really is it starts with an L. Lucanidae, L-U-C. Okay. Lucanidae. Ah! Not tameable currently. Because I allow default taming is no on that. And uh, there's no active baits for it. So uh, it eats special food. It eats wood smeared with rotten meat. So yeah, it's a thing. Alright, well, here you go. Alright, so I think it's time to get started on 
on missions, right? Uh, I don't really like escort missions, though. I'll probably do those off camera any anyways. Uh, locked and loaded is the plesiosaur. Okay. The teeth underneath. Retrieve teeth from a school of toothy megalodons and escape before you become something's next meal. The Mosa proposal. Track down a Mosa. Okay. Track down a Tuso. Hide and sink. Really? I thought I had done the, the hide and sink. Uh, I guess not. Oh. Gamma. Oh, uh, yeah. Races. Not really looking forward to that one. Rip it, roll it, and punch it. Check to keep sea turtles as they travel through the dangerous section of the migration towards the East Genesis Current. Bottom nose blitz. Another race. And one tough mooter. Dive beneath the waves to battle mooter, the master AI for this biome. And then I've got. 21 more glitches to do here. I've got 11 total done. I've done 8 in the bog biome, though. But I, three of those were the uh, the dodo shot clock. So Cheaper by the pack is the raptors. Yeah. Uh, King of the swing is the bloodstalker, right? With bog power comes bog responsibility. Uh, bog rally. I think this is the capra one. Bog beat down. I still need to do an alpha on that one. But I love I like the beat down missions. Along came pollen. Not bad. Spy versus Spino. Brute Spino. Okay. Uh, Brute Sarco. Web search. Okay, so I'm guessing Brute Bloodstalker then. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Escort an adorable frog as it tries to find its way to safety amid the uh, merry dangers of the mire. I haven't done any missions in Lunar yet. So you can destroy a malfunctioning tech giga. It's trying to assert its dominance, okay. Little light of mine, guard a lantern pup as it travels across the asteroid landscape, gathering teleporter power to make his escape. Bug hunt. Stock pack a nameless and expunge them from the biome, but beware the Reaper allies. A captain's conquest. Search the desolate lunar reaches for a gigantic territorial astrocetus. Take it down and reclaim the stars. Bulb dog pickup. Hmm. Is there a bulb dog shot clock? Because I can't do the pickups on a single player. Oh, it says 1 to 10. Huh. Technological terrors. Ah, this is the waves. Okay. Yeah, this is the like a beatdown mission then. Okay. Turn the hunter into the hunted. Track down the injured Reaper King and harvest its Reaper pheromone gland. Wouldn't that be a queen then? But no. King of the Moon, time to hunt. There's a pack of tech T-Rexes. To bold to go. Hidden points around the asteroids, okay. Tokyo shift. Dodge meteors and control your altitude as you drift your skiff across multiple lunar asteroids. And Space Jam. Ah, here we go. This is the shot clock one. And then I've got 29 more. Gotta go fast, Mantodotic, and roll at supersonic speeds down the side of the volcano. Timing your bounces to avoid lethal lava. We have Magma Source Den steal one of the precious eggs. Okay. Hidden points, okay. Hunt in the heat, hunt the Magma Source, okay. Dead heat is the galley race, okay. Retrieve the skull of an Alpha X Triceratops from those volcanic stomping grounds. Don't panic, there's just fire and lava everywhere. Magma Medley Melee. Fight off an ensemble of fiery predators or its curtains for you. At least that volcano is erupting. Oh, wait. We will rock you. Hunt down a rock elemental. Okay. Kingslayer. Take down a T Rex. Okay. A summit tour. Found the parasaurs are wandering around the summit. Protect them from predators who want fresh meat. Hello and goodbye. Low level brute aloe pack. So, okay. Low level, mid level, high level. Okay, cool. So, I could probably do uh, most, if not all, the gammas right now. Especially like the hunting missions, whatnot. I'm pretty confident in Arca Prime's abilities. You have a. Uh, yeah, you got a beefy saddle on too. 145 armor, so. 
These things are still babies. Wow. They do grow up slow, don't they? And you guys are doing okay, so sweet. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, like I said, we need black pearls for the high-tech replicator. So I'm going to have to go Tuso hunting. Joy oh joy, right? Uh, probably going to wait until these little guys here are fully grown up. And then we'll go from there. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.